Soundwaves KPFK, the soundtrack of the World Wide Web. I'm your host, the Deacon is speaking on the weekend, Mr. Abraham Beltran. And the gentleman to my left and the 12-year-old Asian girl texting away to the left of him, Aceki and DJ Slowpoke. Why it gotta be all about Asians, huh? <laughs> okay, obviously I gotta facilitate this interview. <laughs> so we uh we uh come back and do focus. We uh the, the brothers came on the show, played some gems, um, a couple jazz songs, a couple funk songs, just good music all together. We kinda ran out of time, so we're gonna have them back in a couple weeks, but you can catch the download link and the playlist uh online, soundwaveskpfk.com. So as we always do with the videos, we're, we're going to play the top five game. So uh, we're going to start off with top five L.A. grub spots. So, uh, Ace Key, go ahead, man. Wow. Okie Dogs, Chavalita. Um, I had to do it. I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wait, let, Chanta, people, let, let people know what's Chanta. at these spots. <laughs> okay. For the best, like, like it, I don't care if you're like, you get out of a party like four or five in the morning, whatever the case. Chabalita is like one of the dopest places to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cantor's is really good on Fairfax, uh, too. Um, what's another good place? Jerry's is always good. Good Jerry's Deli if you want to do the Hollywood thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's another good spot. Uh, four would be... What was the one I mentioned before? Uh, Okie Dog. Okie Dog. They they're not a twenty four hour joint, but if you want like some really really good French fries, you know what I'm saying they have like, the thick the thick they have the, they in have the brown bag exactly and the grease. You know what I'm saying? If you're really trying to really do it decadent style, like you definitely want to go Okie Dogs. Five would be uh, I would have to go with uh, Mel's Bar on Sunset. I'm saying right by House of Blues. That's a really good spot too. You were right, uh, Mel's doing. Diner. Isn't it? Mel's Diner. Mel's Bar is the club where I did my own release party. That's right. Not there to be confused with Mel's Bar. <laughs> Mel's where he diner. did his release party. Slowpoke, go ahead, man. Um, top five grub spots in no particular order. If you're Mexican and you live in L.A., you know I'm going to say King Taco. King Taco is open late, and it's great, it's cheap, and it's good. Been going there for years. Um, I like Bossa Nova on Sunset Boulevard. Plantain sandwich is off the hook. Um, I like organic to go. Um, I like the, the the soups are good there. Um, I like Piper's on Western and Beverly. Piper. Yeah. I think I've taken everybody on this table there. And I guess I'm the last one, right? One more? Yeah, one more. Uno mas um, Molcajetes Pupuseria. That's my <laughs> joint. It's on Burlington and 8th Street, Salvadorian cuisine. It's a hole in the wall. You see the old Salvadorian lady cooking pupusas. She's been there for like 30 years. She makes the bomb pupusas, for real. Don't go anywhere else. Go there. That's my spot. Okay. There's a lot of joking going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do, uh, let's do uh, top five movies because you guys are DJs and music is a very big part. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to make it harder. Oh. Top five Movies in terms of having the best music in them or scoring. Oh, you got me there. Wow. Right. I'd rather do top five movies because I'm not a... Hey, Ski, can you hit that one? Yeah. I'll give you my... Um, you first one, info? first one I'm going to go off is, is uh, Black Orpheus. Um, just Brazilian, just really beautiful Brazilian sounds. The setting, the lighting, everything is beautiful in that movie. Black Orpheus. Uh, two, I would have to go with uh, In the Heat of the Night uh, with Quincy Jones did the soundtrack. Uh, Sidney Poitier, great movie. They call me Mr. Tibbs. You know what I'm saying uh, <laughs> three would have to be Cotton Comes to Harlem. Um, I forgot who. I think it was Galt McDermott who did the soundtrack to that. Wow. And in addition to that, it's just kind of like a two for one. Because anybody knows Cotton Comes to Harlem and well, uh, Come Back Charleston Blue. They're all. They, so it was based on the Chester Himes novel. So I have to go. With, uh, Come Back Charleston Blue, which Quincy Jones and Donnie Hathaway did the soundtrack. Four nice. would be uh, Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. Um, that's self-explanatory. Five, Shaft, Isaac Hayes. All right. I'm not a big movie guy, so, but like, well, just movies then. Just, yeah, but I like, I like, I like, well, it, top five movies, music, just top five movies. Music movies? No, or, top five movies. Because I could do music movies. Go ahead, too, go ahead. Matter. Um, 
I guess the the one of one of one of my favorite is uh, Dead Pres Dead Presidents. Ooh. Dead Presidents soundtrack was nice. Um, um, I'm gonna go and say um, I, I can't. I, I, I'm gonna do movies. I, I, recent movies: Benjamin Buttons. Go see that. It's really? off the hook. Yeah, Benjamin Buttons. But um, that's a good movie. And then uh, Grand Torino. Yes. Clint Eastwood. I, I just saw these movies, but I think they're classics. You know what I'm saying? Um, another movie I like was uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I like Forrest Gump. Isn't Benjamin Button like Forrest Gump? It is you? like Forrest Gump. Yeah. And then um, another great, great, great movie. I like spy movies, so I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, uh, the, 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 the Born Identity. Born Identity. There you go. Thank you. We talk a lot, me and that cat over there. Yeah. That's my movies. Right? Oh, and then my, my home videos. Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm going to give the top five because I've, I've, uh, I've got a top five. Number one, Boiler Room. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen the that. Angel yes. did the score. And you never seen that? Never seen oh, that. Oh, my before. God. Beanie Siegel, uh, Tribe Called Quest, mm -hmm. Feral really? Monch. I mean, the list goes on and on. And it's these young cats uh, basically doing running, running game on the stock market. But... They're all like they're set in Brooklyn, and you know they're yo yo what the deal what the deal. I mean they speak hip hop and the music is hip hop. It's fantastic. Um, that's number two. Number one, The Godfather of course. Um, I mean you can't really top that. Uh, Superfly because there's just a, the, I've never seen a movie with a tone was so perfect, and and Curtis's Curtis Mayfield's music was always, um, it was giving you a peek into what was going on in the ghetto. But it was in a very like uh, poignant, po poignant, and hey, we can do you know we the people who are darker than blue. I mean, move on up. Like it's it's like self empowerment. You know the soundtrack to hey, let, let's get past this. But it was in a very gentle way. So uh, Superfly, of course, uh, Ronin, believe it or not, movie with uh, Robert De Niro, oh, where he's like an ex uh, spy kind of guy. But they had a lot of like uh, ethereal Japanese sounding music. Uh, really dope movie. And then, uh, shit, I just, oh, uh, skate videos. I got to get up to skate videos. Uh, MASH SF is a, a, a fixed gear bicycle movie. Right. And this soundtrack is the shit. I've got like four or five songs that I played on the show. Did you see Rollerball? Of that. Rollerball? Was that a skating movie? Rollerball? No. No, this is like a documentary. <laughs> Anyways, I'm talking right. shit. All right. Uh, let's do uh, top five, top fives. Damn. Okay. Top five Sunday morning records. The Sunday morning. Wow. The sun has risen. You got some breakfast. You're just chilling in your crib. The sun is shining. You're relaxing. You had a long week, and this is your time. What five records are you listening to? Uh, George Benson's uh, rendition of Take Five. Uh, Quincy Jones' Killer Joe. Um, Love Brought Me Back, DJ Rogers, three. <laughs> Four would be Simply Beautiful, Al Green. Um, five would probably be um, Masterpiece, The Temptations. Amazing list. Jesus. Okay. Go ahead, man. Whatever. These guys know their music. <laughs> hey, now bring the camera back. I, I want you to know. Whatever. These cats are going to be on many times in the show, so get, <laughs> get familiar. Cause You're <laughs> killing me, Larry! Because <laughs> these guys know. I know my music, but I aspire to be like these dudes. These, nah. are, these are the Yodas. These are my teachers. So, nah. Slowpoke, go ahead, man. My... <laughs> One of my favorite top five Sunday morning <laughs> records is DJ Quick, Quick Groove number seven. That is off the hook. You take a look. He has the vinyl, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Vinyl. That's one of them. <laughs> um, I like uh, the Temprees. Right. This is dedicated to the one I love. That's my, my jam. Uh, Bob Marley, Pimper's Paradise. Um, man, you took the Quincy Jones away from me. <laughs> Sorry, though. Um, um, I'm going to say... Uh, John Coltrane, any John Coltrane. I can't even think of one song, just all of them, you know? And uh, um, I'm gonna say, uh, well, like, um, I like I like reggae a lot, so I would say like, Baron to Le Levy, Vibes is Right, that's my jam. And also Black Roses, I like reggae a lot, so, especially on Sundays.